In this problem, we're told to convert 47 degrees to radians, 12 radians revolutions, and 75 RPM to radians per second. So let's start with A, so we're going to convert 47 degrees to radians. So what you need to know is that 1, or pi radians, is equal to 180 degrees, right? And so if that's the case, all you have to do is take 47 degrees and multiply it by pi radians all over 180 degrees, right? Because that'll cancel the degrees and you'll just have it in radians. So basically do 47 times pi and divide by 180. And if you go ahead and do that, you'll get 0.82, and then it's gonna be radians, right? Because we have radians on top for units. So 0.82 radians, that's your answer to A. And so now let's do B. So we're gonna be converting from 12 radians to revolutions. So what you need to know is essentially two pi radians is equal to one revolution, right? So if that's the case, right? All we have to do is multiply by one on top, one revolution for every two pi radians, right? And then radians will cancel. So basically you just do 12 times 1, which is 12, and then divide by 2 pi. So basically you're just doing 12 and then dividing by 2 pi. And if you go ahead and do that, you'll get that it equals 1.909, right? And then we can just round, so 1.91, and then it's going to be revolutions. So 1.91 revolutions, that's going to be the answer to B. Now let's do uh, C. So C is 75 revolutions per minute. And I recommend writing, uh, writing it like this. So 75 revolutions and then on minutes on the bottom. So we have to get rid of re uh, revolutions, right? And we're getting it in radians per second. So we got to convert revolutions to radians and then minutes to seconds. So how do we do that? So we know that there's one minute for every 60 seconds, right? So that'll cancel out the minutes and we'll just have seconds on the bottom. And then we know from this problem that one revolution is two pi radians. So if we put revolutions on the bottom this time and then two pi radians on top, the revolutions will cancel. Right? And then you'll just have the units radians over seconds, which is what we want. So just do 75, divide it by 60, and then multiply it by 2 pi, essentially. And when you do that, you'll get 7.8539. So I'm just going to round to 7.85. And then the units are radians, right? radians per second. So 7.85 radians per second, that's your answer to C. 1.91 revolutions, that's your answer to B. And then your answer to A was 0.82 radians. So these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.